Hello, good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to reload and refresh a page after a few seconds, uh, like the ten seconds, six seconds, etc. You you want to uh, by using uh, a script manager timer control we can do this. But uh, I want to refresh the whole page, not a partial page. So here we use uh, meta tag with the two attributes that is first one is http equi uh, in the http equi we have a single value that is refresh and the content we have multiple values but uh, one by one i will clear uh, the first that is 10 uh, it means uh, your page is refreshed after 10 seconds okay let's check this uh, uh, meta's output uh, yeah First of all, uh, completely run this uh, page in a browser. After 10 seconds, you can check your page is refreshed. Uh, that the same things we can do by using the code behind file uh, in the ASP.NET. Actually, uh, we have a meta uh, HTML meta class through which we can retrieve uh, the properties uh, by making the object of the HTML meta class. Uh, similarly, uh, we can define um, the content and the HTTP equi that is a refresh value in the HTTP equi. So, uh, you can uh, see that your page is refreshed after 10 seconds uh, using the meta tag. The same thing I will do uh, using the uh, page load math, uh, HTML meta tag meta class which is available in system.web.ui.html controls namespace so please uh, import this namespace or you can say use this namespace by using the using keywords mm, okay uh, so create a object of the class and by using object we can invoke the properties of that class after that uh, uh, assigning the value you can add this HTML uh, object HTML meta uh, class object in the page header. Uh, the all these things we can also uh, do this by using the append header method of the page uh, class. So by using the um, response of the object we can call directly append header method. So let's check just after this <coughs> these things. So in this dot page dot controls dot header controls we can add the meta and check the output on your browser. Uh, your page is just after uh, 10 seconds refreshed. Mm, yeah, page is refreshed successfully. So mm, again check it page is refreshed or not. Yeah, page is refreshed okay mm, open your code behind file this dot page dot header dot controls dot add is a, mm, a whole line uh, by using the this is represent to the current object reference that is page and the header it means your header tag okay by using single uh, method you can also do these things uh, because the append header actually uh, concatenant the already available in the header so append header method we can add the two things that is refresh and the seconds uh, the same thing we can do this by using this append header method and page is refreshed just after the six second okay uh, now i want to uh, move another page just after mm, the 10 seconds or the few seconds so mm, in the http equi attribute mm, define the same value but uh, the content define seconds with url so uh, in the meta tag content attribute we have two value that is second and the url so I have a page on which I want to navigate ast.aspx 
and remove the sorry uh, close the meta tag and let's check on your google browser uh, mm, meta tag example is a name of the page yeah just after six seconds your page is um, post back or you can say uh, move to the next page that is ast.aspx the same things we can do by using the code behind file so <clears throat> i have already available the code uh, just i want to add um, url in the content so semicolon it here 10 uh, you can say seven second semicolon url equals to ast dot aspx okay and check it the this things is working or not uh, on your browser oops uh, now move to the another page that is contact.aspx for your clearance so after the seven second your page is moved to the contact.aspx uh, with the by default theme of your visual studio 2012 yeah page is successfully moved just after the 10 seconds in on contact.aspx page yeah successfully a redirect you can do the same things by using the append header method uh, i also clear uh, the after the session out you can do these same things so and the third variable is added into the content that is session out or you can say session timeout actually session uh, uh, take some times by default like 15 second 12 second and 20 seconds so uh, the same things we can do here uh, that by using the append header method that is url is equals to contact.aspx and check it on your browser uh, just after this uh, i will show you uh, how to move to the another page after the session out mm, okay that is your hair mm. okay now i want to do the same uh, do the uh, move to the another page uh, after the session out so what we'll do here uh, the session dot out is the uh, in place of the seconds so convert dot to strings session dot timeout plus content uh, concatenant uh, with the uh, url so semicolon url oops url equals to ast dot aspx or you can say contact dot aspx you can define it here so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp dot net uh, I will show you more uh, details about everything in this channel by using this channel or you can you can follow my websites that is dot programming dot com this is my blog uh, in the dot programming uh, we have only single M uh, remember that dot 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 programming p r o g programming r a m i n g this is already mentioned in the my contact profiles so please visit it and learn more many things about uh, asp.net so thank you thank you very much